This is a how to use the Alex RNS highlight plugin. It is a new plugin that highlights better than the one that you used to do before with the hashtags in the noise PY. So the first link in the description will have this link right here. You go to that, you want to click download zip. It will save it to your desktop or your downloads, wherever this is. You can find it in your file explorer. You click save. That will download it. You click show in folder. If you forgot where you downloaded it, you can click Downloads Up Again, and it'll show you where it is. In the path file, you can find that in your file explorer. Since I have it open here, I'm going to right click and extract all. Extract, it'll make a folder, then it will create a new folder, and you open that up, you open the next folder, you go to your SPE folder, you go to your plugins, you move this over to here, you right click and edit, you select all, or you can click and drag with uh, click and drag. You can right click copy, or you can do control A, control C. Either way, you have the text now in your clipboard. This you can delete after once you're done, but you need to go back to your config, right click and edit with Notepad++. If you don't have this, you can install it. There will be a download link in the description. If not, you can edit it with Notepad. If I just right click and edit, it will default open with Notepad. It's better with Notepad++, but later on I will show you that the PYs should be better with just Notepad. So what you want to do is you want to paste it somewhere above your keybinds or something. You don't want to paste it in the middle because that's part of the plugin that has sections with these brackets. You want to do it after the last item of that bracket or before the first one of the next bracket, which would be like another section of the uh, config. I'll paste it here, which is in the config. It is now saved if I can press Control S, or I can do save right here, file save. And now it has the highlight player three in here. Now we can go to this, and we'll see in the second link in the description, the noise. This one does not have a download because it is a separate file that was supposed to be all for SVP. So then what you want to do is you want to click raw, and you want to control A, control C, or you can click and drag the whole thing, right click, copy, either way. Then you go over to your plugins, then you go to noise, right click, edit, and then you do control A, control V, or you can click and drag the whole thing, and you can right click, paste, either way, it saves it, and then file save, you copy over your uh, noise and that's how you get your noise py to be the original without the one that had the hashtag after the if and hashtag after the continue. The next part would be to see how it works in game. You have this section that you copied from the other file which was you right clicked and edit, you selected all of the text and you copied it and then you pasted it into your config, but you made sure that it wasn't in any other section. I put mine above my keybind section in Notepad++. If you want to see how it looks like in regular Notepad, let's say you didn't download the Notepad++, it would just be the same. It would just be keybind, so it would have this, and then I have this section right here. Same thing, the only difference is this is in Notepad, not in Notepad++. That's what it would look like. So now if we actually open the game, I'm going to use Sandboxy to run another account. So this is not going to be a video to show how to use Sandboxy. That will be in my next video. I will show you how to use Sandboxy in another video. The keybinds that I'm going to show, I'm going to hide chat with T. You just copy this text here. I'm going to have my keybinds in the description. I'll just leave it for you to download because the GitHub, he actually updates. I'm using whatever version that this is, so this is like the newest version. I don't think he changes it much, but if he does, it will be there. This section is for hiding chat. This is going to be player visible, the player list. Of course, when you edit your config in game, it won't save. You have to reopen your game for it to update. So if I set this to toggle, it'll stay the playlist on until I press the button again. I set the button to B, so I hide their names, toggle their names. This one is hide noise alley objects. This is alley objects, like the incendiary, the boosters, blasts, and uh, shot effects. It does not affect you, so you can still see your shots. The hide shells is hiding shells with the keypad 4 that I have here, but this is the text you need from the highlight player 3. That's just the format you use 
for this row right here. I set it to keypad 4 to hide players. If you hide names, they'll be on the side. If you uh, toggle the names, you'll see the names. That's supposed to happen on the side. Unless you toggle names and hide shells, then you won't see uh, any names or shells. Um, toggle center camera is right here. You can have it so that you can have the camera where it goes up to the wall like this, or you can have it centered so it's actually on your player. When you zoom out, the highlights will change size as you zoom out so you will be able to see their player names more easily. And you can also rename. That is just my um, keybinds. For the color, I'm gonna show you how to change the color later because you have to reopen the game for that. So we're gonna go over to the actual PUI. So we go to plugins, we go to highlight player three, we right click edit in notepad. You don't wanna edit this in notepad plus plus because it will create another file. So just right click edit, don't use this when doing PUIs. When you're doing your config, you can. This is just preferred to edit in notepad just by itself uh, for plugins. So you wanna edit notepad and you'll see here that he's got his uh, main account is alt account and you'll see a spark label that spark is the s chant on i is a new spark it is renamed to a chant on i using this format with the apostrophe then the spark label with the hashtag the number which you can see on the player list here and the colon space semicolon the name you want if you want it to be named like i or something make sure that you set it to the format that it's in just change these names here this is the name of the player that's supposed to be case sensitive with the capitalization correct and then this is the name you can name it numbers or whatever the spaces won't matter you could name it i i and save it and then this will pop up if you're using sandboxy that won't if you're using regular steam as you can see it is now named i i with a space or you could just name it i and it should live update this plugin or all plugins will live update so you don't have to worry about closing your game it should just update automatically um, I can rename it to S Chant on I and then save it with Control S or File Save and then it should update here. I'm going to go over here so I can show you what I'm uh, doing here. So right now I don't have myself highlighted so if I hide shells, as you can see my fabricator now disappears, I hide noise, the fabricator item disappears. So if I want to highlight myself, I would add another line and add my name. It has to be correctly capitalized. If I do it like this, um, as you can see, I'm now highlighted where I can, I'm showing on the screen. But, and I also want to hide shells like other people, you'll see them, but I won't disappear. Now I'm highlighted, but if I did it wrong where I had like lowercase k, then as you can see, um, I will now be disappearing because I'm not spelled right. So uh, you have to spell it correctly. The color green is because it's friended. If I unfriend myself, then I will be a white name. The green color for the highlight was not because of the friend. It was because of the highlight. It's default green. Um, I was just showing that, for example, but I have to capitalize this if I want it to be correct. And you'll see the name gets slightly larger as well. If you zoom out, it gets larger. If you zoom in, it gets smaller. You can center camera and zoom in. The name should get slightly smaller. So that's how you do that. You add a new line, you add the name. Let's say I want to rename myself to Jordan or something. I would have to use the same format. This doesn't have to be here. It could be no tab, but it looks cleaner if you add a tab. So then you do the apostrophe, the name of the player you're renaming is uh, another apostrophe, a uh, colon, then a space, then apostrophe, then let's say Jordan, then a comma, and then I save that, and it should rename me to Jordan. You can actually put these on separate lines if you want to save it like that, or you can remove it if you want. Um, he's the creator. Uh, this is alt. You can leave them on there if you want, if you want to keep them highlighted. This is his faction. So uh, when you have a faction, you want to put an underscore. Uh, because otherwise it'll save these as two separate factions, as notable factions. It will highlight everyone in that faction. For example, my faction is um, hackers. So if I were to save that and go over to here, as you can see, my faction is now highlighted. But if I had a faction that had a, a space in it, then you put an underscore. That's for everyone in the faction. So for example, I don't have King of He's highlighted. But as you can see, when I show or hide shells, I don't disappear because my faction is highlighted. So you don't have to put individual names if you want an entire faction highlighted. But as soon as I remove this, 
as you can see, I now will not be highlighted and I'll disappear. If you want to separately highlight them, that's probably better. If you have a lot of people in your faction, it can get a little messy with the names. Um, so I would do King of Keys, cap properly capitalized. It is now highlighting me, but you see it's not highlighting my faction. The, the faction name is still blue. So you can have uh, individual names or you can have both. Um, and it'll still stay the same. The only difference is one will be highlighted and then the other one will be highlighted as well. So that's simply how to do it. Notable factions, renaming is here. That's the format. It gives you an example here with the spark labels. Um, if you want to highlight a spark, if you don't highlight something, like if I removed myself like this, I saved it like that. I wanted to highlight myself. You see, it's not highlighted and it's also not renamed. Even though I renamed here, it's not highlighting me. So I am renamed, but I'm not highlighted. So it doesn't consider it to be there. You have to highlight before you rename. Otherwise it won't highlight you and it won't rename you. You have to have both for it to work basically. So that's pretty much it. Notable factions in between these apostrophes. Notable players have to be highlighted. Case sensitive, make sure it's capitalized. Renaming, you have to have the apostrophes and everything correct, you know, all the same. The space here doesn't matter, but it looks cleaner if you have it like that. Uh, make sure you have underscore if it has a space in the name. Otherwise, it won't highlight your faction properly if it has a space. Otherwise, it should be just the name. If it's all lowercase like this, then um, just save it like that, depending on how you made your faction capitalized or not. That's for the renaming. Now, if you want to change the colors, that is in the config. So I have to actually close the game to show you the colors changing for the players and the faction. I'll make them two separate different colors. I'll also have the color code thing in the description so you can actually find it pretty easily. It's uh, this website right here. I'm going to pick like red for the faction, the color code is right here. You don't copy the hashtag, you just copy the numbers. And then you go to your config, which should be over here. Config, right click, edit with notepad. This is the one you can edit with notepad, not the plugins if you want, or just use notepad. It will be in the plugin highlight player three section. So we're trying to change the color faction, alternate faction color. We'll just change that to the letters we found over there. We save that and that will change the faction color to red and we go back and let's say we want to make it blue and we'll have a blue color. Copy that. You have to close your game otherwise it won't live update. Like you'll see it um, not change in your game. That's why I closed my game first and then I changed my config. The plugins you can change and it won't affect uh, in game. You can uh, live update but config you have to change and then you have to reopen your game. The faction color is here. Okay. The player color right here is right there so you want to save that and then you want to close your game again close your game again run.bat and then it should change the colors as you can see the colors are now blue for the names you see that a shunt on i is now blue this account should also be blue because i'm highlighting it as you can see king of keys is now solid blue I can highlight players, hide names, and the player color is now blue, and the faction color is red. So those two, you have to close the game and save if you want to change the colors. Player color name is here. This is the name, and uh, faction color is right here if you want to change that there. So that's how you do that. Hiding factions, adding, renaming, case sensitive between the splits, the noise, py, the hide player, uh, plug in download, unzipping it, um, copying it over. The keybinds are pretty self explanatory. Thanks for watching. Um, if you have any questions, you can feel free to ask Alex Arnes in Discord. He doesn't mind usually if you ask him, but this is a video to keep people from just constantly asking him how to use highlights. It should be self explanatory. If you can't figure it out and you have some like specific issue, it might be because you have the wrong noise that's not updated to the original one without the hashtag. There was there's no hashtag here and there's no hashtag here. Those should not be there. That was the old way of doing it. Other than that, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned how to figure out how to use the plugin and thanks for watching.